Welcome to another episode of A Guide to Dune Words. This episode will focus on terms and phrases. Let's begin. Adab. This term in Dune is defined by Frank Herbert in his Terminology of the Imperium as the demanding memory that comes upon you of itself, which seems to mean an intrusive thought. Adab. This is an Arabic word pronounced Edeb. Edeb, Edeb, and is an Islamic behavioral code of conduct. It refers to Islamic etiquette, meaning refinement, good manners, morals, decorum, etc. Edeb can also refer to literature in the general sense. Melange. Melange is a word borrowed from French, meaning to mix. Melange. This word is pronounced pretty much as it is spelled. Melange. Lazgun. I always thought this was pronounced Lazgun, but it is Lazgun. Lazgun. Salamlik. The word Frank Herbert uses comes from the Turkish word Salamlik and was a portion of an Ottoman palace reserved for men. Salamlik. Dais. A dais is a platform for a throne. Shai Hulud. The origins of this word seems to be rooted in Arabic. Frank Herbert almost pronounces it in the Arabic way. He almost pronounces the second portion of the word khulud. Shay khulud. Khulud. The Arabic way of pronouncing this would probably be shay khulud. Shay khulud. Shay khulud in Arabic would mean something eternal. Shay khulud. Sarir. This word is an Arabic word Serir, serir, and it means bed, which would make sense in the context of a desert, the sand bed. Auris. This word comes from the word huris in Arabic. Huris. I think Frank Herbert wanted to change the pronunciation here with a play on words like hour, houri, but this comes from the Arabic word hur, huri. And here are some terms in Frank Herbert's books which you may find useful. Ornithopter. Kinjal. Chrisknife. Cunley. Kahuit. Kralazak. Massif. Fief. Burka. Mentat. Major Domo. Axlotl tanks. Laysa tigers. Coriolis Storm Coantine Cebus Hood Chaumerki Chaumas Spannungsbogen Prana Bindu Panoplia Prophetica Missionaria Protectiva Quisatz Hadrak Quisatz Hadrak Quisatz Hadrak Dar es Belat Achayo Gerat Halyam Sayadina The phrase Sayadina is a word from the Arabic language and the word is pronounced Sayyidina 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 which means master in Arabic and is an honorific title The Tahadi challenge This Arabic word Tahadi pronounced Tahaddi Tahaddi the Tahaddi challenge is something that comes from Islamic history. This is the ancient Egyptian word for the golden path. Hark al -Ada. This Arabic name Hark al -Ada. is pronounced Hark al -Ada. Hark al -Ada. Hark al -Ada. And this was the title given to Prince Faradun. Harkalada. The word likely comes from Harkalada, which means the splitting of nature, that which is contrary to the usual course of nature. Usul, usul, usul. This word in Arabic is pronounced usul, 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 and it means foundations or principles in Arabic. Mohalata. This word in Arabic Mohalata is pronounced Mukhallata Mukhallata which means mixture Madi This word is a title given to Paul Muad'Dib by the Fremen 
based on their legend. The Arabic way to pronounce this is Mehdi. Mehdi. So Pul Muad'Dib is the Mehdi of all the Fremen. And it means the rightly guided one in Arabic. Kanat. The word comes from the Persian Qanat, which comes from the Arabic Qana. And it means an underground conduit or aqueduct that leads water from the interior of a hill to villages in the valley. The Tanza Ruft. The Tanza Ruft is one of the most desolate parts of the Sahara Desert and is located along the borders of Algeria, Niger and Mali. Kitab al-Ibar. In the Arabic way, Kitab al-Ibar. And this in Arabic means Book of Lessons. And it is based on a real book about the history of Arabs and the Berbers, written by Ibn Khaldun. Kitab al-Ibar. Kitab al-Ibar. Lisan al-Ghaib. Closer to the real pronunciation of this word is Lisan al-Ghaib. Lisan al-Ghaib. Lisan means tongue. Al-Ghaib means the unseen. So Lisan al-Ghaib would mean the tongue of the unseen. Su, su, suk! An interesting fact is that su is the Turkish word for water. Onsar, ahaka, seliman or masluman. The interesting thing about this phrase is that it is from a prophetic narration of the Prophet Muhammad. Frank Herbert does a pretty good job here of pronouncing it, but a more accurate way would be to say Unsur akhaka dhaliman aw madhluman And in Arabic it means Help your brother whether he is an oppressor or he is an oppressed one And the logic behind helping him if he is an oppressor is by preventing him from oppressing others Unsur akhaka dhaliman aw madhluman Mektub al malah you carve wounds upon my flesh and write there in salt. Mektub means written, and the second word he says means salt in Arabic. This is the end of the How to Pronounce Dune Words series. If you liked hearing Frank Herbert's pronunciations, you can hear him read excerpts of Dune on Audible for free. A six-click wind was called a pastasa. A twenty-click wind was a kwishma. And a hundred click wind was Heinali, Heinali the man pusher. If you sign up for a free 30 day trial, if you're already an Audible user, you can purchase a copy of the Dune audio collection. See the link in the description too. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. If you like this content and would like to see more, please consider supporting me on my Patreon or joining as a channel member, where you'll receive access to exclusive content ahead of time, secret content, and more. Thank you to all my channel members and my Patreons for your support. Your help made this series possible.